This is our soldier fly harvester as opposed to soldier fly generator. It's made out of plywood, white. We keep it under a gum tree here on our dock. As you can see, there's a chute that goes into the water so that the uh, harvested larvae from one side are constantly flowing into the water to, to chum the water for fish. Uh, directly underneath it is a catchment bucket for the um, leachate that comes off of the um, worms feeding in the pit. Let's have a look inside. Okay, as you can see, the pit is full of uh, vegetable leftovers from our table. Uh, right now we have bananas and so forth. Also, we found a dead coral snake in the road this morning. And you can see that they are clustered around what was his head. I chopped it off. And they're working their way into his body. You can see his body is swelling. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take him to completely devour him, but he's been in there now about uh, 45 minutes. Let's another better look here. Alright, these were all generated from just putting uh, scraps, table scraps in here, <clears throat> including meat, actually uh, old buttermilk, uh, just anything and everything you can think of that uh, has protein in it or fat or sugar, they will absolutely pounce on. Now once they reach a maturing state, they go up the ramp and into the hole in the end of the ramp. On this side, it falls through into a collection basin and uh, you can't see right now because it's dark in there. They tend to do it at night. Uh, during the day there won't be much movement. Uh, maybe one or two will fall in there, but come out the next morning there's usually a couple of hundred in there. The others find their way up the ramp here into this hole and into the chute into the water. Okay. Now I did place this little piece of cardboard on the um, wall here for the females to lay their eggs but as you can see they just lay their eggs on the underside of the lid. The females never really land in any of the of the in the pit uh, therefore they don't spread any kind of contamination. They lay their eggs here and their eggs drop into the pit. The uh, larvae grow, they eat every other kind of fly maggot that finds its way into the pit so that they become to dominate it. That's why right now you don't see any uh, horse flies, house flies, bottle flies, fruit flies, anything like that. Now they will come in and lay their eggs and then leave, but their eggs wind up getting devoured. Okay, the leachate drips through into this five gallon bucket. As you can see, uh, I just replaced it, poured it out this morning. I poured it into the compost heap and um, uh, that will, that does attract other flies, but then they come up here and lay their eggs in the pit, and that's the end of them. So it's a great thing for fly control.